What's going on guys, I'm Dom Strider, back on another adventure to find that which time forgot about, and today I'm heading over to the Sauk Prairie Recreational Area, and I'm going to be exploring the ruins of the Badger Ammunition Plant there. So the Badger Ammunition Site was first authorized in 1941 and started getting built in 1942, causing a lot of farmers to have to up and leave their homes just so that this factory could get built in order to meet the needs for war and specifically World War II. And this place actually operated and made ammo during World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. It made things like uh, acid, oleum, smokeless powder, rocket propellant, among a bunch of other things. However, in 1975, for whatever reason, it just ceased operation, and in 1997, it became uh, excess. Uh, then, in 2002, it became uh, pretty much part of the Sauk Prairie Recreational Unit, so now part of it's owned by the DNR, and here we are today. So that's kind of gen the general history of the place. Now, when I get over there, it's I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful because only a certain section of it is the actual Sauk Prairie Recreational Unit. Other parts are part of the Ho-Chunk Reservation, and so I'm not going to be able to go over there due to it being on private land. And other parts of it are part of the Dairy Research Facility, so I can't be able to go over there. So there's not a so... Bottom line is I'm going to be very limited as to what I can and cannot explore, but I'm going to try to get to wherever I can within where I'm able to go. Yeah, we're just going to get right on over there, but before I do, guys, please hit that like button. It really does help the video out a lot, and if you're new and you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification to let you know when I come out with a new video. But with all that out of the way, let's continue with today's adventure. Okay guys, so I just found a spot to park at the Sauk Prairie Recreational Unit. I'm not going to lie, this place is kind of a labyrinth to navigate, especially if you don't have a map. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of sketch. So we're on this trail right now. According to the map, we're on the yellow one going north. We're just going to kind of walk around, see if there's any kind of structures that we can find and uh, go take a look inside them. So, let's go at it. Ooh. It's pretty interesting. These are old rails. You know, these are the edges, and you got wooden parts right there. Yeah, these were old rails for trains. Because I know for a fact there was a train that used to they used to run through these parts to deliver more supplies whenever uh, they needed it to make the ammo. And I think I see another patch of them up this way. Ah, let's take a look. Yeah, more rails right here. These were old railroads. Holy crap. And what else is interesting is that as I was passing to go take a look at that, there appears to be a little path running through this way, right? In fact, you can even see uh, this patched up spot in the ground right here, and it connects into here, and goes that way. That, I am willing to bet you anything, is where the old railroad ran through. That said, doesn't look like it. Yeah, that said, it's all graveled over now. All weeds are growing on it and everything else.
Okay guys, so I just came down from here only to take a look at all of this. They all look like, uh, honestly, they all look like, um, gosh, what is it? Sign holders. Because, like, what is it? Usually whenever you see stuff like that, it's usually holding up some kind of a sign. To be fair, this also looks like just conduit. What was this? Again, my guess is that they were all like, you know, either electrical or they held up like uh, signs and whatnot. I don't know. This is the big antenna, but over here is the interesting part. I can't get past the gate, obviously, but I can show you what's behind the gate. like a massive reservoir <sighs> probably for just water back in the day but no idea what it's for now <sighs> yeah now it's just swamp water <sighs> not much else to see in this area let's see if we can actually find some like bunkers or something starting to get to some interesting ruins and some more graffiti hey looks kind of smiley at least uh, let's see if we can get a closer look let's try to figure out yep got weird little smiley faces over there and there Looks like some sort of either uh, excess chute or waste chute, something. That definitely looks like waste up there. So I thought I saw some other ruins over in this area too. Okay, this is something. Let's take a look inside, see if we can find anything of interest. No, not so far. Ah. Why is it always gotta be brambles? Ah. Is there anything pretty far back into said brambles? Not really. I mean, just those kinds of, uh, they look like latches or something to latch into. Not a whole lot in here. I saw another building over this way, so let's take a look over this way. Yeah, there's some kind of building over here. You can also see some supports that way. Yeah, what is this guy? All covered up by the bushes of the berries. Oh. We got another little bunker thing up there, and that one's open. We'll go in there next, but I want to check this place out first. Ooh. All right, let's take a look inside. Uh. 
Okay. Pretty gutted out. Hmm. These two slabs obviously supported something going into there. Plus with the pipe. Maybe something for, uh, plus there's that pipe right there. Is this a bathroom maybe? I mean, it supports that. You got all these holes right there for pipe to go through. You got this pipe. I mean, you got these two ledges you could have put like a waste receptacle on, attach into that. Plus that, which, although that's not plumbing, that's more like heating. One more little bunker thing up there. Let's go see. Let's go look in the bunker. Yeah, it's hidden in behind these trees. Ooh. Nice. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Nice. That looks like a circuit box or a junction box over there. Maybe this was the generator room. Actually, that could have been what both of those are. One of them, instead of the bathroom for one, that could have controlled the water or something. This could have controlled the electrical. Holy crap. You can even see far down in there. Leads out where it is. Where it's yeah. I'm guessing that this was Spot for electrical. Maybe a generator or something fit right here, a really big one. Okay, things are starting to improve. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was starting to get a little worried that there was not gonna be really a whole lot left. But, um, and to be fair, everything's gutted out, but, you know, you still got, Cool little bunker looking things over here and other structures. I call that a win. Let's see what else we can find that's a win. So there's electric. Ooh, I'm gonna watch my step in there. Okay, that just leads back down. Hi, uh, hi little birdie. I 
the Exorcist Virtue EXP. Okay. But yeah, no, here's the junction box, or the electric, the circuit box, whatever. Looks like some airflow. There would have been, there would have had to be a piece connecting those two ends, I imagine. But yeah, there's all the air compression. There's water, so then what was the point of this? My guess, I mean, it's gotta be more than just those. Maybe this was just, you know, a bunker. I don't know. Really gotta do better, better research into finding out shit. Ooh, dude. There's a bunch of broken glass at the bottom. Probably from all the windows. It's my guess, because that's all open. I'm guessing it was probably from that window. Yeah. All right. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty lit. This is pretty lit. Okay. Well, we got a giant got a sewer pipe going down there. Yeah. Just to kind of give you guys a scope of how massive this place actually was, not just this, not necessarily this building, but the actual manufacturing plant itself, it had over 1,000 buildings on this plant alone, okay? And over 10,000 people were employed here during the wars. That's insane. And keep in mind that all of this was built originally. Um, when they commissioned this land, you know, far, this was all around farmland. In fact, uh, even if you pass through this area just hiking, you'll notice there's still like a lot of cornfields and stuff like that, probably belonging to the Ho-Chunk. But, you know, that's how it originally started. All this was supposed to be farmland and people were forced from their homes. They were forced from their homes just so that the government could have a spot to build ammo for the war. Which, to be fair, without places like this, we wouldn't have been able to help win the war but, that's kind of messed up when you think about it. Holy shit guys, yet another one. I didn't even see this my first time coming around. Look at this. Yeah. All right, let's take a look inside. That's about as much in as I can get, but it's kind of the same as all the other ones. Just another, another little bunker. Here's the electric box. And it actually keeps going that way, but it's all covered in brambles and it's going to be hard to get to. So, yeah, I didn't even see that that was over there when I first passed through this area. Ah, the little shit you find. Well, guys, um, I honestly uh, found pretty much everything that I was able to find slash wanted to find. Um, you know, there's obviously probably a lot more of the property that... It, there's a lot more of the property that does exist. However, it is on private land. Um, I think the Ho-Chunk owns that part of the land, so I'm not going to be able to go over there. Um, and other parts are for dairy research, so I'm not going to be able to go over there. Um, but yeah, everything that I was able to find, uh, and that I wanted to find, I found it. So, I called it a win. And with that win, I am going to end things off here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. It really does help the video out a ton. And if you're new, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification to let you know when I come out with a new video. If anybody has any more information on places like this that I can go and explore, either A, leave me a comment in the comment section, or B, send me a message on the Facebook page. Link for that will be down in the description below. Once again, I'm Dom Strider, and I will see you guys again the next time I go on an adventure to find that which time forgot about.